This is the Tong Child, and though it might not look like it, it's arguably one of the most important discoveries in human evolution. This lovely fossil was discovered in 1924 by a quarry worker in Tong, South Africa. It eventually found its way into the hands of paleoanthropologist Raymond Dart, and in February 1925, he published a paper describing it as a new species, Australopithecus africanus. The Tong child is, unsurprisingly, a child. They were probably around three years old when they died and still had most of their baby teeth. Parts of their face are mostly human-like, with round eyes, shorter canines, and a mostly vertical forehead, while the lower half of their face protrudes forward, like in chimpanzees and bonobos. Their brain was also closer in size to that of chimpanzees. Wait, I hear you ask, how do we know about its brain? Because this right here looks like it's just a face. And I answer you, dear viewer, with this, the endocast, which is basically a cast made of the inside of their skull. So it's practically a replica of part of their brain. And this endocast demonstrated something revolutionary in the 1920s, that our comparatively larger brains did not evolve first because this man ape, as Dart originally described them, had a chimp-sized brain. Brains aren't the only reason the Tong child is so important. The discovery was one of the first hard suggestions that humanity evolved in Africa, something we know for certain now, but it wasn't ever considered by the mostly white European and very racist paleoanthropologists of the 1920s. Because of this suggestion that humanity evolved in Africa, I mean truly horror of all horrors, the Tong child and genus Australopithecus were met with fierce opposition. This faded over 20 years or so, and since 1947, the Tong child and more broadly genus Australopithecus have been accepted as members of the human lineage and clear evidence of our evolutionary origins in Africa. If you learned something new today, be sure to like, comment, and share because those are the things that help the algorithm get me out to more people. And if you want to learn more about the echoes of humanity's past, be sure to check out my page.